I've been trying to create human life on planet Earth for so long. If I don't do it today, I'll eat this hand. And I really don't want to eat this hand. What is going on, TFG squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Cell to Singularity. You guys know how much I love this game. Oh my gosh! I have 476 trillion little jimmies, also called entropy. Let's see what we can upgrade. So last episode, we finished with the thought. Basically, every time I click this brain, I get another idea, I guess, and we can make the dawn of civilization. Look, I could go to the Stone Ages. Wait a second. I've gone to the Stone Ages. I invented a monkey or an ape or... I don't know, but he's clearly cooking some form of meat. Okay, I'm already off to a great start. Today, we are creating humans. I don't care if I have to sit in this chair for five hours. Okay, so now I can learn hunting, which is probably going to give me more ideas. I'm not exactly sure. I can invent fire. Okay, anybody that has ever seen or touched, well, probably not touched, but anyone that's ever used fire, you can thank me because I just invented fire. All right, let's zoom out. We're starting to work on human life. So right now, I have a ton of money. I could make the Homo habilis. What is this? Also known as Handyman. Homo habilis is one of the earliest species of humans. Okay, we are definitely getting close. So I just invented them. I invented the wrist joint. So once again, anyone that has a wrist, you can thank me for that. I invented the wrist. Extra power? What the heck is that? A large brain. Oh, this is a bigger brain. So I invented big brains, which is kind of ironic because I have a very small brain. Homo erectus. Wait a second. Fully bipedal Homo erectus is an extremely successful species in the blah, blah, blah. Direct ancestors of human, of modern humans. Okay, I, I, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. I think I'm getting close to inventing humans. Okay, there we go. Endurance, hunting, complex emotions. Humans! Okay, we are very close to actually inventing humans. We're going to do it today. Let's zoom out really quickly. You guys were telling me that I was missing some other stuff. So long pregnancy. I invented long pregnancies. I guess you can't have humans if you don't have pregnant humans. So this is another part of the game that I didn't know existed. You guys, you see these? Oh, oh wait, wait. Let me click this really quickly. Thank you. That was a little power up. You see all these little white circles around that there's nothing around there? You guys told me basically I need to buy a certain amount of each category and then more things will pop up. Okay, so now you can see the sweat gland. Can I not invent that one? Can I just ignore the sweat gland? Sometimes it's very embarrassing. I'm a very sweaty person. Can I ignore the sweat gland? It helps regulate mammals' temperatures. All right, I guess we need a sweat gland. Oh, and that milk gland. The heck was that sound? What the heck was that screaming sound? Okay, fine. I'll invent mammalian teeth. I guess now I invented teeth. Secondary palate? I don't even know what I'm inventing at this point, but I just invented milk glands. So, uh, cows, humans, goats, anyone that produces milk, I invented it. I'm really taking credit for basically all of humanity at this point. All right, so let me invent or let me create a couple more mammals and then some more things should pop up. Oh, no, I used up all my money. Oh, my gosh. I did not realize I had. Oh, geez. Oh, now I'm probably not going to be able to get to humans. All right, you know what? Let's go over to the Mesozoic Valley. This is where all the dinosaurs are. I want to see what we can invent for dinosaurs today. While you were gone, you earned 8.96 billion, and I can double it with two of these things? Yeah, man. Oh, and I got a new geotide. What did I get? I got more mutagens. I don't exactly know what the mutagens are, but I think I can use those for upgrades. So on the right, you can see all the things I need to move on to the next level of dinosaurs. So I need to collect 70 Stegosaurus. I need a photo of the Archaeosaur, and I need to collect 59 Ankylosauruses. I'm going to start doing that. Oh, I did it again. See, this is what happens when I upgrade the dinosaurs every single time. I cause another meteor to make them all extinct, but at least I upgraded to level six dinosaurs. Let's, ooh, new discovery, crocodiles. I feel like crocodiles are kind of modern day, like dinosaurs, right? We're getting closer to humans. I could feel it in my nose, which by the way, I haven't invented the nose yet. So I'm done with the dinosaurs for now. Right now, before I invent the human, I'm going to work on actually creating a human that's not just going to die immediately. So speech. Yeah, I feel like talking's probably somewhat important. Ooh, now that they can speak to each other, humans can coordinate and unite. 
I don't know exactly what that means, but that sounds like a very good thing. Okay, so let me go back here. I want to... Let's name this guy. What's This is like a chimpanzee, I believe. I'm going to name him Eddie. He looks like an Eddie. I know I name a lot of things Eddie, but this guy looks like an Eddie. His meat doesn't seem to be cooking. I feel like I already invented fire, but maybe he hasn't figured it out yet. So let's get a few more thoughts really quickly. Ooh, now he's getting two thoughts per click. All right, that's 300, 400, and 500. Okay, so now let's go back. I, I already invented cooking, by the way. So again, I'm taking credit for everything, but anyone that's ever eaten food that's cooked, you can thank me for it. Advanced stone tools or burial. Well, what do I care about burial? I don't care about the dead humans. I'm working on the humans that are alive still. All right, so let's go advanced tools, and that's going to lead to cave paintings. Clothing! Okay, I don't want naked chimpanzees walking around, so let's start working on clothing. Okay, I think I have enough thought bubbles or thought light bulbs to make clothing. Okay, hopefully Eddie won't be naked anymore. Let's go back and... Eddie's still naked. Eddie, will you put some clothes on? I just invented clothing. No, you're just gonna stand there and look at a piece of meat not cook over logs that aren't lit on fire. Okay, you know what? Clearly, he's not the smartest human in the world, but I haven't invented the humans yet. So let's go back here. I'm gonna collect as much entropies. I also I also call them little jimmies as I can. Oh, we got a shooting star. Okay, here we go. You ready? Steady. Go. Get as many little jimmies as we can. Ugh. So there's like a shooting star that comes by every few minutes and we can get like 10 times the little jimmies, but you only have like 10 seconds. Come on. Ugh. I'm getting a forearm workout. This is what I'm doing, basically. This is this is the art of this game. And okay, I got a ton. Oh, now I'm at a half a trillion. Or no, not a half a trillion, a half a quadrillion. I don't know. What's the number after a trillion? Okay, this is basically what I'm going to do for the next hour. And when I come back, hopefully I'll invent humans. Okay, we are getting very close to inventing humans. Now I'm getting complex emotions. Higher thought, higher empathy, and higher problem solving allow us to not only confront external, but internal as well. Okay, complex emotions. So now I'm happy and sad at the same time. And Neanderthals, Neanderthals, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I'm pretty sure Neanderthals, yes, it's a it's an offshoot of humans basically. I think I think Neanderthals are like the closest things to humans that I guess no longer exist because we probably killed them. Okay, so I invented the turtle and then I found this thing. I have no idea what that is. It kind of looks like some sort of a lizard slash salamander, but I guess you can unlock it when you get to level 10 on the dinosaur level. That looks really cool. So I kind of want to do that and I invented the sea turtle. Oh, whoa. What's this slow speed? <laughs> Am I making the turtles slow? So right now, turtles are regular speed. In fact, they can even run fast. And now the turtles are slow, thanks to me. So every turtle, snail, any sloth, any animal that walks around at a very slow pace can be mad at me. Usually I invent good things. This doesn't seem like a good one. <laughs> I invented hiding. So anyone that likes playing hide and go seek, I guess, or... Just being a coward like I usually am in horror games, I did that a box turtle? Aren't those kind of dangerous? Well, fine, we'll invent it anyway. Strong jaws. I like to pride myself on my jaw strength. Not really. I, I don't really have very strong jaws. Um, yeah, we don't have enough for that yet. So I'm just sitting here clicking away at my phone screen like I do in this game. Oh, there's a new dinosaur. Wait, let me collect a little power up first. There is a new dinosaur. What's this one called? The... I don't know what that sound was. It kind of sounded like a NASCAR race where the guys are taking the lug nuts out of the tires. But here we go. The Pleosaur. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. It kind of looks like Lapras, like the Pokemon Lapras. I love that thing. Life created. I'm gonna be honest, one of my favorite parts of this entire game is the sounds that the dinosaurs make when you click on them. The Triceratops is my favorite. You ready for it? I mean, it sounds like it's really had a rough day. It's eaten too many spicy tacos. Its stomach is about to explode and... Well, well, that wasn't the sound I was looking for. Here it is. Wait for it. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, let's go back and create a human. I think we can do it now. Oh, yes. A shooting star is exactly what I needed. Here we go. Work out those forearms, Brandon. Mm, Trying to click as fast as I can. 
I'm trying to click as fast as I can. All right, let's see if I can set a record. I think my record was like 580. Can I beat that? I'm using all five fingers. Oh, here we go. I think, oh, 551. Okay, that's okay. I am at 868 trillion. Is that enough to invent the humans? I don't know if it was. Humans are 8.8 .8 trillion? Wait a second. I could have invented the humans in the beginning of this video. Oh my gosh, I've been working so hard and I literally had enough the entire time. That is so embarrassing. All right, well, let's Shalom. invent humans. What was that sound? Wait a second. What was that sound? Shalom. Wow! Okay, they're actually speaking languages. Here we go. An upright primate with big I thought it said big noses. Although the picture there does have a very big nose. Wait a second. Let me close out of here really quickly. World domination. Did I, I invented humans! I actually invented the humans. Wait a second. I want to go back really quickly because I saw something pretty funny. If I go back here, I invented humans... But I didn't invent the human brain yet. That seems like something I probably should have done. Let's invent the human brain. So all of you guys that have brains, you could thank me for that. And oh my gosh, what is this? The Neolithic? I don't know what that is, but I just invented it. The kiln? I, I, oh my gosh. I think I invented like housing. I think I invented like some some form of, of shelter. So I just realized every time you click on the humans, they say hello in a different language. It's actually kind of funny. You ready? Shalom. I, I, I don't know. I think that was Shalom. Hola. Hola. That's high in Spanish. Hola. Uh, hola again. Can you give me something different, humans? Hello. Hello. Okay. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Next time, we might travel to space and try to live on Mars. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. Go to that channel and subscribe right now. And I will see all of you in the next video.